Science of Speed has just launched our engine conversion program to fully integrate the K20C1 from the Civic Type R into the S2000. This package is designed for the S2000 race car owner looking for factory reliability from a 300 plus horsepower engine. Not only does it seamlessly integrate the engine to the chassis, but it even offers plug and play installation that connects directly to the factory wire harness. I'd like to do an overview of the nine components required for installation of the K20C1, as well as the options you have with these components. Let's go check it out. So this is the Honda K20C1 crate engine. Now it's an impressive engine, not only for how much power it produces, but also that it's lighter by more than 20 pounds compared to the F-Series engine, even with the turbocharger installed. Now the first choice you need to make is where are you gonna source your engine? Science of Speed is one of four authorized Honda K20C1 crate engine program dealers. Now the advantage of buying the engine new from Science of Speed as opposed to a used engine is all of the accessories that you need, like the alternator, starter, throttle body, turbocharger, etc., are already installed with a crate engine. Now the second choice you're gonna to need to make is regarding engine mounts. The engine mounts connect both sides of the engine to the S2000 chassis. Now Science of Speed has developed a kit that works with the factory S2000 engine mounts and the K20C1 engine. Alternatively, we also offer the kit from Haasport that replaces the factory mounts with stiff urethane mounts. So the third category of components is what Science of Speed calls the intake manifold adaption kit and intake filter kit. Simply put, that allows us to take the lightweight, flow-optimized factory intake manifold and flip it 180 degrees. The reason we need to do that is that in the Civic Type R, the throttle body's on this side of the engine and would conflict with the firewall. Now, the way we do that is with this machined adapter that we've designed to flip the intake manifold 180 degrees, and it also gives us the benefit of being able to add port injection for high horsepower output flex fuel applications. Now the kit also includes the throttle body adapter, the intake kit itself, and all of the required hardware. The fourth component category is the exhaust downpipe. Now the exhaust downpipe joins the turbocharger to the catalytic converter. In the kit, Science of Speed includes the factory heat shield from the Civic Type R, which cuts down on heat transmission to the rest of the engine bay. Now the Science of Speed downpipe terminates in the OEM location where the factory catalytic converter mounts to. What that means is if you have a compatible catalytic converter and an exhaust muffler section on your car already, you can keep it. It would be compatible with this engine. It's also compatible with the factory catalytic converter and the factory exhaust muffler section up to about 300 wheel horsepower. That's great if you operate at a track with really low sound decibel limits. The fifth category of components is the transmission adapter and conversion flywheel. The transmission adapter serves two purposes. One purpose is to convert the mounting pattern of the K20C1 to the S2000 transmission. The second purpose is to place the transmission in as close to the OEM location as possible so that the gear selector is in the factory position. This single piece billet aluminum adapter retains all of the factory mounting locations and includes dowels to precisionly align the transmission to the K20C1 engine. Now the conversion flywheel allows any clutch kit that's designed for the S2000 transmission to work with the K20C1 engine. Of course, we recommend that the clutch kit can support more than 300 foot-pounds of torque. We recommend the Science of Speed Sport 400 Hybrid Clutch Kit and Bearing Kit. So the sixth category to discuss is the intercooler and charge tube kit. Now in this category, you have two options. Option one is the standard front mount intercooler. Now in this configuration, we place the intercooler in front of the radiator. It's what you're used to seeing with most turbo kits for the S2000. Now because that intercooler is in front of the radiator, there's a certain air pressure drop into the radiator decreasing its performance. 
So for this option, we do recommend upgrading the factory radiator to something like the coil radiator. Now this set setup is perfectly sufficient for uses such as time trial racing. However, for endurance racing or high horsepower applications, we highly suggest upgrading to what we call our V-mount setup. Now this takes the stack setup from the standard front mount and splits them into a V. You get both the intercooler and a twin pass radiator. Now this setup drastically improves cooling performance for both the intercooler and the radiator. We do suggest it again for both high horsepower applications and for endurance type racing. The seventh category of components to discuss is the engine coolant relocation kit. Now this is the K20C1 engine as delivered by Honda. This engine is lighter than the F-Series, but it's actually wider, taller, and longer than the F-Series engine. So that presented some challenges to fit this engine into the S2000 engine bay. The way Science of Speed overcome that is we remove the rear water distribution block. This is the rear of the engine as installed into the S2000 engine bay. We were able to develop this water distribution block which bolts to the rear of the engine and relocates the thermostat assembly. Not only does this allow the engine to fit properly in the engine bay, but it also allows us to optimize water flow, keeping the engine cool. The kit includes everything you need. In addition to the components that I mentioned, it also includes the various tubes and hoses required for the kit to be complete. The eighth category to discuss is the fuel system. Now the K20C1 is a direct injection engine. Science of Speed has developed a kit that allows the K20C1 to be fed by the factory fuel tank. That kit includes hoses, fittings, and a fuel pressure regulator. Now in addition, for the 2006 through 09, we offer a return conversion kit. Now in addition to those parts, you're gonna need a fuel pump that can supply 150 liters per hour at five bar. That's pretty significant. So Science of Speed recommends the Walboro 450 liter per hour pump, Science of Speed installation kit for that pump, and the upgraded wiring kit for the Walboro pump. Congratulations, you've made it to the ninth and final category of components required to fit the K20C1 engine into your Honda S2000, and that's the engine control package. Now the engine control package is simply the electronics that allows this engine to run in the S2000 and includes three major components. The engine layover harness, the chassis interface harness, and the ECU itself. Now this is one of the aspects about our product that I think is the most exciting and it's one of the things that I'm most proud of the Science of Speed team for developing, which is a true plug and play solution. The engine wire harness literally plugs into the factory connectors. That's really cool. There's two options based on which ECU you'd like to use. The first option is based on the Honda Performance Development LC1 ECU. This ECU is a fixed calibration ECU, meaning no adjustment is available. However, that also means no tuning is required. So there's no additional cost other than the cost of the parts. Now HPD tuned this ECU to produce over 300 horsepower and nearly 300 foot-pounds of torque at the engine. However, in our own testing with 91 octane, this solution is producing well over 300 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels. On 91 octane, that's really impressive. Now the second solution is for the customer looking to push the limits of this engine, and it's based on the MoTeC ECU. In this solution, we have much more capabilities to push the limits of the engine by using higher test fuel, ethanol-based fuels, as well as modifying the turbocharger and the engine itself. It even allows things like staged fuel injection so that we don't need to modify the factory high-pressure pump and injectors with expensive aftermarket solutions. It's a great option for customers really looking to push the limits of this engine. So that's everything required for installation. Let's watch a dyno pool, then jump to the track for some seat time in this S2000.